Hey there, my name is Colin. In this video, I'm reviewing this milk frother that I just got. So I'm just going to read to you the usage instructions, and then we're going to try it out. Fill your frothing pitcher a quarter full with hot or cold milk and place whisk into the milk. Press and hold the button to whisk. Raise frother up and down many times until foam is desired. So here is what it looks like. It's pretty basic. It's got your little frother thing with the springy type looking thing on the bottom and then it has your handle and the power button. So you just click the power button and it starts spinning around. You take your finger off the power button and it stops spinning around. So you can kind of just kind of do it up and down as you want to. The other thing before we actually review and demo this thing is this just is powered by two AA batteries. So just as a little place right there. Also has this ribbon inside so that uh, it's easy to get the batteries out if you need to replace them. So. I have a little jar, it's not really official, but I just like a little bit of foamed milk in my coffee sometimes. So I got my milk, pour a bit in. It's probably way too much, but that's okay. And now let's try it. So this is just cold milk. I got, grabbed it right from the fridge and here we go. It says it's supposed to take about 15 to 30 seconds. I'd say it's working pretty darn good, to be honest with you. Like already, how long was that? 10 to 15 seconds. And you can definitely see the air coming out of the milk. It gets that foamy look to it. So honestly, I think that works pretty good. Uh, pretty sweet and legitimately, like I didn't speed that video up, that took 10 to 15 seconds. And there's quite a bit of milk in here. You could foam it up even more if you want to, but already it's like, I put too much milk in here to begin with, but it's foaming up really, really well. The last thing I'll say is this thing is just super easy to clean. You put it under some hot water or some water and you start spinning it. And in seconds, it's nice and clean again and ready to go for next time. The other uses that I've read about, I haven't tried it yet personally, but you could put some chocolate sauce or whatever inside your milk or whatever. And then you do that. You froth it and it spins the chocolate sauce into making really good chocolate milk. You could also use this as like an egg whisker as well, which would work really good instead of using a fork and doing it by hand. So overall, I think this thing is awesome. I'm really happy with it.